So let's let's start to edge toward uh, stride. Yeah, I had signed a production deal, but I had a a contract that was not a very good contract where I had to write songs uh, on consignment and I had to fill a quota. So during that period of time, I had written Break My Stride toward the end of my relationship. And uh, I never really told this story before, but um, things had gotten so bad in the relationship and, and they were withholding money, funds from me because I was behind in my quota. So in order to fill my quota, I started writing Beatles songs backwards and just, you know, throwing them tune after tune. Every once in a while, I was inspired and I'd write something that I liked. And I remember I wrote Stride in, in a, a fit one afternoon. It came pouring out of me in about a 30 minute shot. I just had a sixth sense about this particular song. Right. So we're, we're in the graveyard shift at, at, at uh, Pasha Studios, and, uh, and we record Stride. My recollection is we recorded it in one night. And we make the record, and I had no prospects. Six months later, I was signed to a new record label by a man by the name of Joe Isgro, and Stride is a Worldwide, worldwide hit. hit. Number five, was it, on that? Five, worldwide. Place to be. And for more of what you want to hear, let's get back to Matthew Wilder. Never let another girl like you up to say, oh, And so now this is life changing. Yeah. This is, this is a big, big turning point, this you know? Because you've been, you've been making music and skating by on it your whole life at this point. And right. You know, you're not you're not a kid. You didn't have no, a hit, hit when you were. Yeah, years old. I'm so, thirty years old. And so, what happens? 